All right, welcome back to week two, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to be working on multi-screen apps this week. So here we're starting in Google Classroom and you will be working on um, lesson two, which is our multi-screen app project this week, giving you an overview of how to work with multiple screens and work with some of the things on the user interface um, in app lab of code.org. So for this first lesson of week two, I would like you to work on bubbles one through eight. Okay, so we're focusing on bubbles one through eight today. So we're gonna go to our code.org tab over here. Um, I'd like you to, um, first of all, read through the lesson overview here in the diamond of the first um, bubble of the lesson and that will give you an overview of where we're going today with some of the new commands and vocabulary for the lesson um, which will give you an important foundation um, moving forward so we're going to learn how to add multiple screens in the app lab and switch between them um, you're also going to learn to use console log to display um, sample messages um, for debugging purposes to help you with your code and getting rid of bugs from your code. Um, so we've got three vocabulary terms today, debugging, event-driven program, and event handling. So you're going to work with event-driven programs looking at specific mouse click events, right? Um, with your button to run certain blocks of code or functions um, within the app that you're working with today. Your new code today is going to be to set the screen ID. So if you click on this, it'll take you to um, the library so you can learn more about the code um, snippet or the set screen um, and command and how to use it within your code. Um, we also have the console.log command um, that you will be using in your debugging process. So if we start um, the first couple bubbles, two and three, here are looking at using design mode to design um, the app, the multi-screen app, and then you're gonna be working with debugging um, for the second portion of today's lesson. So um, in our second bubble here, um, we are going to be working with App Lab to design um, the second screen that they're asking you for. So you're given a starting screen and they're going to ask you to display um, the second screen. We've got a little animation over here to show you how to layer the circles, right? And the delete tool as well. So if you need to remove something from the screen, you can do that. So we're working with depth and we're working with delete tools here with our images on the user interface today. So down here are the two screens. This is the given screen that you have. They want you to use the layering um, to layer these circles on the screen to create the bullseye. And you'll also use the delete um, key to remove some of these extra targets up here across the top. Okay, um, so you should end up with something that looks like the image here on the right when you're finished um, with bubble two. And then you'll go to bubble three um, of using design mode and this will finish the design mode portion of today's exercise that I want you to work on with these first eight bubbles, okay? So using the design mode for um, our multi-screen app in lesson two here, um, we're going to take a look at using these commands or click events on this button. So they give you this red button that says click me and they want you to use an event handler, right? So 
the on event um, command is here and they want you to try an event handler from design mode so give you directions here and you can work with the properties of course we've got our screen id of one which shows up here um, in our preview and then you're going to click on the events tab of once you select the button here and highlight the button um, it's got the button title of button one is the red button and then you'll scroll down um, in the canvas here and click on the insert and show code so that will take you to um, the code and you can type in your code here and see how it works edit it and change it we can also um, run the app um, as console log um, and it will show you um, the events for your code and then continuing on you're going to work with debugging in bubbles four um, five six seven and eight okay so i'd like you to stop at bubble eight today um, and then we'll continue on in lesson two for the second half of the week all right so hopefully that helps give you a start um, to your project and this lesson this week and feel free to reach out with any questions via email remind or google classroom and i'll talk to you soon